As traditionally the oldest form of Christianity, along with the ancient or first millennial Orthodox Church, the non-Chalcedonian or Oriental Churches and the Church of the East, the history of the Roman Catholic Church is integral to the history of Christianity as a whole. It is also, according to church historian, Mark A. Knoll, the "...world's oldest continuously functioning international institution." This article covers a period of just under 2,000 years. Over time, schisms have disrupted the unity of Christianity. The major divisions occurred in c.144 with Marcionism, 318 with Arianism, 1054-1449 see East-West Schism during which time the Orthodox Churches of the East parted ways with the Western Church over doctrinal issues see the Filioque and Papal Primacy, and in 1517 with the Protestant Reformation. This church has been the driving force behind some of the major events of world history including the Christianization of Western and Central Europe and Latin America, the spreading of literacy and the foundation of the universities, hospitals, the Western tradition of monasticism, the development of art and music, literature, architecture, contributions to the scientific method, just war theory and trial by jury. It has played a powerful role in global affairs, including the Reconquista, the Crusades, the Inquisition, the Investiture Controversy, the establishment of the Holy Roman Empire, and the fall of communism in Eastern Europe in the late 20th century. <laughs> <laughs> Ministry of Jesus and Founding <laughs> OBC, Nativity of Jesus According to the Gospel of Luke, his birth occurred in the town of Bethlehem during the reigns of King Herod the Great of Judea and the Roman Emperor Augustus, and he was the son of the Virgin Mary, who conceived him by the power of the Holy Spirit. Christians see him as the divine Son of God incarnate or God the Son, although the calculations of Dionysus Exiguus put the birth of Jesus in the year that in consequence is called AD 1. History places his birth more likely some time between 6 and 4 BC 28 AD, Jesus' baptism, start of ministry, and selection of the apostles. The Gospel of Luke indicates that Christ was baptized during the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar which is dated in 28 AD found in Luke chapter 3 verses 1, 21, 22. Christian Gospels strongly suggest Peter as leader and spokesman of the Apostles of Jesus, being mentioned the most number of times in the Gospels. Peter, and the sons of Zebedee, James and John, constitute the inner circle of the Apostles of Jesus, being witnesses to specific important events of the life of Jesus, preachings of Jesus, such as the Sermon on the Mount, and performance of miracles, such as raising the dead back to life, feeding five thousand, walking on water, etc. 30 AD, Peter declares and other followers believe Jesus of Nazareth to be the Jewish Messiah promised by Yahweh according to the Jewish scriptures and the predictions of the Hebrew prophets. Entry into Jerusalem, start of Passion of Christ. Jesus of Nazareth is crucified in Jerusalem under Pontius Pilate, procurator of Judea during the reign of Tiberius and Herod Antipas, after the Sanhedrin, under the high priest Caiaphas, accused Jesus of blasphemy. He was then crucified under Pontius Pilate. According to his followers, three days later, God raised him from the dead. Forty days after his resurrection ascension, the Christian Gospels narrate that Jesus instructed his disciples thus, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of time. Matthew chapter 28 verses 18-20. Ten days later, Pentecost, Peter makes the first sermon converting 3,000 to be baptized. Early Christianity 34 AD, Saint Stephen, the first Christian martyr, is stoned to death in Jerusalem. 50 AD, Council of Jerusalem determines that Gentile converts to Christianity do not have to abide by Mosaic laws. This begins the separation between Christianity and Judaism. 52 AD, traditional arrival of Saint Thomas, the Apostle in India. 64 AD, the Neronian persecution begins under Nero after the Great Fire of Rome. Martyrdom of Saint Peter. Persecution of Christians continues intermittently until 313 AD. 67 AD, martyrdom of Saint Paul outside of Rome. 
Pope Linus becomes the first official pope. 68 AD, Neronian persecution ends with the suicide of Nero. 70 AD, fall of Jerusalem and the destruction of the Temple. 72 AD, martyrdom of Saint Thomas the Apostle at Mylapore. 76 AD, martyrdom of Pope Linus. 96 AD, traditional date of first epistle of Clement attributed to Pope Clement I written to the Church in Corinth. 100 AD, Saint John, the last of the Apostles, dies in Ephesus. Ephesus. 110 AD, Ignatius of Antioch uses the term Catholic Church in a letter to the Church at Smyrna, in one of the letters of undisputed authenticity attributed to him. In this and other genuine letters he insists on the importance of the bishops in the Church and speaks harshly about heretics and Judaizers. 150 AD, Latin translations the Vetus Latina from the Greek texts of the scriptures are circulated among non-Greek speaking Christian communities. 154 AD, the teachings of Marcion, the Gnostic Valentinus and Pentecostal Montanists cause disruptions in the Roman community. Persecution of Christians in the Roman Empire continues. 155 AD, Justin Martyr composes his first apology in Rome. 156 AD, Polycarp, Bishop of Smyrna, disciple of John, and teacher of Irenaeus, is martyred. 177 AD, Irenaeus becomes Bishop of Lyons, France. 180 AD, Irenaeus's Adversus Heresies brings the concept of heresy further to the fore in the first systematic attempt to counter Gnostic and other aberrant teachings. In the same work, he taught that the most reliable source of apostolic guidance was the Episcopacy of Rome. 195 AD, Pope Victor I, first African pope, excommunicated the Quarto Decimans in an Easter controversy. 200 AD, Tertullian, first great Christian Latin writer, coined for Christian concepts Latin terms such as Trinitas, Tres Personae, Una Substantia, Sacramentum. 249 AD, Pope Fabian is said to have sent out seven bishops from Rome to Gaul to preach the gospel, Gatien to Tours, Trophimus to Arles, Paul to Narbonne, Saturnin to Toulouse, Denis to Paris, Ostromoyne to Clermont, and Marshal to Limoges. 250 AD, Emperor Decius begins a widespread persecution of Christians in Rome. Pope Fabian is martyred. Afterwards the Donatist controversy over readmitting lapsed Christians disaffects many in North Africa. 312 AD, Emperor Constantine leads the forces of the Roman Empire to victory at the Battle of the Milvian Bridge. Tradition has it that, the night before the battle, Constantine had a vision that he would achieve victory if he fought under the symbol of Christ. Accordingly, his soldiers bore on their shields the Cairo sign composed of the first two letters of the Greek word for Christ. Christos. Topic. 313-476. Topic. 313, the Edict of Milan declares the Roman Empire neutral towards religious views, in effect ending the persecution of Christians. 318, Arius condemned and excommunicated by a council convened by Alexander, Bishop of Alexandria. 321, granting the Church the right to hold property, Constantine donates the Palace of the Laterani to Pope Multiades. The Lateran Basilica, Basilica of Our Savior becomes the episcopal seat of the Bishop of Rome. November 3, 324, Constantine lays the foundations of the new capital of the Roman Empire in Byzantium, later to be known as Constantinople. 323 Pope Sylvester I in his calendar give to Sunday, first day of the week, name Lord's Day and give commandment to church members to keep it as a holy day and so he changed Old Christian and Jewish Sabbath to Sunday. 325, the Arian controversy erupts in Alexandria, causing widespread violence and disruptions among Christians. 325, the First Ecumenical Council of Nicaea, convened as a response to the Arian controversy, establishes the Nicene Creed, declaring the belief of Orthodox Trinitarian Christians in the Holy Trinity. November 18, 326, Pope Sylvester I consecrates the Basilica of St. Peter built by Constantine the Great over the Tomb of the Apostle. 336, date of the first recorded celebration of Christmas in Rome. 345, Pope Julius I officially sets the date of December 25 for the celebration of the Nativity or Christmas. 360, Julian the Apostate becomes the last non-Christian Roman Emperor. 
February 380, Emperor Theodosius I issues an edict, De Fide Catholica, in Thessalonica, published in Constantinople, declaring Catholic Christianity as the state religion of the Roman Empire. 381, First Ecumenical Council of Constantinople. 382, The Council of Rome under Pope Damasus I sets the canon of the Bible, listing the accepted books of the Old Testament and the New Testament. No others are to be considered scripture. July, 387, Ambrose, Bishop of Milan, baptizes Augustine of Hippo, along with his son, Adiodatus, in Milan. 391, the Theodosian decrees outlaw most pagan rituals still practiced in Rome, thereby encouraging much of the population to convert to Christianity. 400, Jerome's Vulgate Latin Bible translation is published. This remained the standard text in the Catholic world until the Renaissance, was used in Catholic services until the late 20th century, and remains an influence on modern vernacular translations. August 24, 410, Sack of Rome. Alaric and his Visigoths burst in by the Porta Salaria on the northeast of the city Rome. 431, the Ecumenical Council of Ephesus declares that Jesus existed both as man and God simultaneously, clarifying his status in the Holy Trinity. The meaning of the Nicene Creed is also declared a permanent holy text of the Church. October 8, 451, Ecumenical Council of Chalcedon opens. November 1, 451, the Council of Chalcedon, the Fourth Ecumenical Council, closes. The Chalcedonian Creed is issued, which reasserts Jesus as true God and true man and the dogma of the Virgin Mary as the Mother of God. The Council excommunicates Eudiches, leading to the schism with Oriental Orthodoxy. 452, Pope Leo I the Great meets Attila the Hun and dissuades him from sacking Rome. 455, Sack of Rome by the Vandals. The spoils of the Temple of Jerusalem previously taken by Titus are allegedly among the treasures taken to Carthage. September 4, 476, Emperor Romulus Augustus is deposed in Rome, marked by many as the fall of the Western Roman Empire. The focus of the early church switches to expanding in the Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire, with its capital at Constantinople. 477–799 480, traditional birth of Saint Benedict, author of a monastic rule, setting out regulations for the establishment of monasteries. 496, Clovis the first pagan king of the Franks, converts to the Catholic faith. 502, Pope Symmachus ruled that laymen should no longer vote for the popes and that only higher clergy should be considered eligible. 529, the Codex Justinianus Code of Justinian completed. First part of Corpus Iuri Civilis body of civil law. January 2, 533, Mercurius becomes Pope John II. He becomes the first pope to take a regnal name. John II obtains valuable gifts as well as a profession of orthodox faith from the Byzantine Emperor Justinian. 533, the Digest, or Pandex, was issued, second part of Corpus Iuri Civilis body of civil law. The Institutes, third part of Corpus Iuri Civilis body of civil law comes into force of law. 536, Belisarius recaptures Rome. 553, Second Ecumenical Council of Constantinople condemned the errors of origin of Alexandria, the three chapters, and confirmed the first four general councils. 590, Pope Gregory the Great. Reforms ecclesiastical structure and administration. Establishes Gregorian chant. Was also elected. To be Pope. 595, in a deed of manumission that freed two Roman slaves, Pope Gregory I declared that no heathen who wished to become a Christian should continue to be held a slave. 596, St. Augustine of Canterbury sent by Pope Gregory I to evangelize the pagan English. 638, Christian Jerusalem and Syria conquered by Muslims. 642, Egypt falls to the Muslims, followed by the rest of North Africa. 664, the Synod of Whitby unites the Celtic Church in England with the Catholic Church. 680, Third Council of Constantinople puts an end to monothelitism. 685, the Maronites used their power and importance to choose John Maron, one of their own, as Patriarch of Antioch and all the East. 
John received the approval of Pope Sergius I, and became the first Maronite Patriarch. 698, Saint Willibrord commissioned by Pope Sergius I as Bishop of the Frisians Netherlands. Willibrord establishes a church in Utrecht. 711, Muslim armies invade Spain. 718, Saint Boniface, an Englishman, given commission by Pope Gregory II to evangelize the Germans. 726, iconoclasm begins in the Eastern Empire. The destruction of images persists until 843. 731, Venerable Bede, Benedictine monk and only English-born doctor of the Church Street. Anselm of Canterbury being Italian-born, completes his ecclesiastical history of the English people. 732, Muslim advance into Western Europe halted by Charles Martel at Poitiers, France. 751 – Lombards abolish the Exarchate of Ravenna effectively ending last vestiges of Byzantine rule in central Italy and Rome. 756 – Popes granted independent rule of Rome by King Pepin the Short of the Franks, in the donation of Pepin. Birth of the Papal States. 787 – Second Ecumenical Council of Nicaea resolved iconoclasm. 793 – Sacking of the Monastery of Lindisfarne marks the beginning of Viking raids on Christian Europe. 800-1453 December 25, 800 – King Charlemagne of the Franks is crowned Holy Roman Emperor of the West by Pope Leo III in St. Peter's Basilica, 829, Ansgar begins missionary work in Sweden near Stockholm. 859, Pope Leo IV confirms and anoints Alfred the Great King of Wessex, according to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle. 863, Saint Cyril and Saint Methodius sent by the Patriarch of Constantinople to evangelize the Slavic peoples. They translate the Bible into Slavonic. 869, Fourth Ecumenical Council of Constantinople condemns Photius. This council and succeeding general councils are denied by the Eastern Orthodox Churches. 910 – Great Benedictine Monastery of Cluny rejuvenates Western monasticism. Monasteries spread throughout the isolated regions of Western Europe. 966 – Mieszko I of Poland converts to Catholicism, beginning the baptism of Poland. 988 – Street. Vladimir I the Great is baptized, becomes the first Christian Grand Duke of Kiev. 1012, Burchard of Worms completes his 20-volume Decretum of Canon Law. July 16, 1054, liturgical, linguistic, and political divisions cause a permanent split between the Eastern and Western churches, known as the East-West Schism or the Great Schism. The three legates, Humbert of Mormitures, Frederick of Lorraine, and Peter, Archbishop of Amalfi, entered the Cathedral of the Hagia Sophia during Mass on a Saturday afternoon and placed a papal bull of excommunication on the altar against the Patriarch Michael I Cerularius. The legates left for Rome two days later, leaving behind a city near riots. November 27, 1095, Pope Urban II preaches to defend the Eastern Christians, and pilgrims to the Holy Land, at the Council of Clermont, 1098, foundation of the reforming monastery of Saito, leads to the growth of the Cistercian order. 1099, retaking of Jerusalem by the First Crusade, followed by a massacre of the remaining non-Christian inhabitants, and the establishment of the Crusader kingdoms, in Latin bishops are appointed to dioceses still largely populated by the Orthodox. 1123, First Ecumenical Lateran Council. Among other internal issues it tackled, Canon III of the Council in response to widespread abuse among the clergy forbade priests, deacons, and sub-deacons to associate with concubines or women in general other than with female family members. 1139, Second Ecumenical Lateran Council, promulgated a rule forbidding diocesan or secular priests to marry. 1144, the St. Denis Basilica of Abbot Sugar is the first major building in the style of Gothic architecture. 1150 – Publication of Decretum Gratiani 1179 – Third Ecumenical Lateran Council 1182 – The Maronite Church reaffirms its unbroken communion with the Holy See 1184 – Pope Lucius III bans the Waldensians October 2, 1187 – The Siege of Jerusalem Ayyubid forces led by Saladin capture Jerusalem, prompting the Third Crusade 
1188, Pope Innocent III issued a bull that proclaimed the emancipation of all slaves. January 8, 1198, Lotario de Conti di Segni elected Pope Innocent III. His pontificate is often considered the height of the temporal power of the papacy. April 13, 1204, sack of Constantinople by the Fourth Crusade. Beginning of Latin Empire of Constantinople. 1205, Saint Francis of Assisi becomes a hermit, founding the Franciscan Order of Friars. November 11, 1215, Fourth Ecumenical Lateran Council opened by Pope Innocent III. November 30, 1215, Fourth Ecumenical Lateran Council is closed by Pope Innocent III. Seventy decrees were approved, the definition of transubstantiation being among them. 1215, Cardinal Stephen Langton, one of the early Catholic English cardinals became an important player in the dispute between King John and Pope Innocent III. The tense situation led to the signing and promulgation of the Magna Charta. 1216, the Order of Preachers Dominican Order founded by St. Dominic is approved as a body of canons regular by Pope Honorius III on December 22, Pope Innocent III having died in July. 1229, Inquisition founded in response to the Cathar heresy, at the Council of Toulouse. 1231, Charter of the University of Paris granted by Pope Gregory IX. 1233, in a papal bull or charter, Pope Gregory IX gave graduates of Cambridge University the right to teach everywhere in Christendom. Other popes encouraged researchers and scholars from other universities to visit Cambridge, study there, and give lecture courses. 1241, the death of Ogede Khan, the great Khan of the Mongols, prevented the Mongols from further advancing into Europe after their easy victories over the combined Christian armies in the Battle of Lignitz in present-day Poland and Battle of Mohi in present-day Hungary. 1245, First Council of Lyon. Excommunicated and deposed Emperor Frederick II. 1248, commencement year of the building of Cologne Cathedral, later finished in 1880. 1254, Pope Innocent IV grants to Oxford University a charter via the papal bull, Quarentes in Argo. 1274, Second Council of Lyon, Catholic and Orthodox churches temporarily reunited. Thomas Aquinas dies. 1295, Marco Polo arrives home in Venice. February 22, 1300, Pope Boniface VIII published the bull, Antiquorum Fida Relatio. First recorded Holy Year of the Jubilee celebrated. 1298, St. Gregory the Great, St. Ambrose, St. Augustine, and St. Jerome are made doctors of the Church. November 18, 1302, Pope Boniface VIII issues the papal bull Anam Sanctam. 1305, French influence causes the Pope to move from Rome to Avignon. August 12, 1308, Pope Clement V issues the Bull Regnans in Celli's calling a general council to meet on October 1, 1310, at Vienne in France for the purpose of making provision in regard to the Order of Knights Templar, both the individual members and its lands, and in regard to other things in reference to the Catholic faith, the Holy Land, and the improvement of the Church and of ecclesiastical persons. 1308, Meister Eckhart, Dominican mystic, composes his Book of Spiritual Consolations for Agnes, Queen of Hungary. August 17–20, 1308, the leaders of the Knights Templar are secretly absolved by Pope Clement V after their interrogation was carried out by papal agents to verify claims against the accused in the castle of Chinon in the Diocese of Tours. October 16, 1311, the first formal session of the Ecumenical Council of Vienne begins under Pope Clement V. March 22, 1312, Clement V promulgates the Bull Vox in Excelsis suppressing the Knights Templar. May 6, 1312, the Ecumenical Council of Vienne is closed on the third formal session. 1320, Dante Alighieri completes the Divine Comedy, one of the greatest works of world literature. May 26, 1328, William of Ockham flees Avignon. Later, he was excommunicated by Pope John XXII, whom Ockham accused of heresy. 1370, Saint Catherine of Siena calls on the Pope to return to Rome. 1378, Antipope Clement VII elected against Pope Urban VI Rome, precipitating the Western Schism. 1387, Lithuanians were the last in Europe to accept the Catholic faith. 
c. 1412–1431, Saint Joan of Arc, a peasant girl from France, has visions from God telling her to lead her countrymen to reclaim their land from the English. After success in battle she is captured by the English in 1431 and is condemned as a heretic and was executed by burning at the age of 19. Later investigation authorized by Pope Calixtus III would conclude she was innocent and a martyr. 1395, Julian of Norwich, mystic and contemplative, writes her revelations of divine love. 1400, Chaucer finishes the Canterbury Tales, a compilation of stories told by pilgrims on a journey to the shrine of St. Thomas Becket of Canterbury. 1425, the Catholic University of Louvain is founded in Louvain, Belgium. 1440, Johannes Gutenberg completes his wooden printing press using movable metal type revolutionizing the spread of knowledge by cheaper and faster means of reproduction. Soon results in the large-scale production of religious books including Bibles. May 29, 1453, Fall of Constantinople. 1454–1599 Topic. 1462, Pope Pius II issued a bull in which he declared the Church's opposition to the slave trade. The Pope's primary concern was that prisoners captured during the European wars should not be enslaved by the victorious powers. 1492, Christopher Columbus reaches the Americas. 1493, with the Inter Cetera, Pope Alexander VI awards sole colonial rights over most of the New World to Spain. 1497, John Cabot lands in Newfoundland, Canada, to claim land for King Henry VII and to recognize the religious tradition of the Catholic Church. 1498, Vasco da Gama reaches Calicut, India. January 22, 1506, Kaspar von Silenen and first contingent of Swiss mercenaries enter the Vatican during the reign of Pope Julius II. Traditional date of founding of the Swiss Guards. April 18, 1506, Pope Julius II lays cornerstone of new Basilica of St. Peter. 1508, Michelangelo starts painting the Sistine Chapel ceiling. October 31, 1517, Martin Luther posts his 95 Theses, protesting the sale of indulgences. 1516, St. Sir Thomas More publishes Utopia in Latin. January 3, 1521, Martin Luther finally excommunicated by Pope Leo X in the bull Decet Romanum Pontificum. 1521, Baptism of the first Catholics in the Philippines, the first Christian nation in Southeast Asia. This event is commemorated with the Feast of the Sto. Nino. October 17, 1521, Pope Leo X confers the title Fide Defensor to Tudor King Henry VIII of England for his defense of the Seven Sacraments and the supremacy of the Pope in Assertio Septem Sacramentorum against Protestantism. May 6, 1527, Sack of Rome 1527, Bartolomé de las Casas, Dominican friar, begins working on his History of the Indies. 1531, Our Lady of Guadalupe appears to Juan Diego in Mexico. April 27, 1533, Juan de Zumarraga is consecrated first bishop of Mexico. August 15, 1534, Saint Ignatius of Loyola and six others, including Francis Xavier met in Montmartre, then just outside Paris, to found the missionary Jesuit order. 1534, the Diocese of Goa is created by Portuguese missionaries to serve the western coast of India. October 30, 1534, English Parliament passes Act of Supremacy making the King of England supreme head of the Church of England, a national church canonically alienated from the Bishop of Rome, the Pope. The hegemony of one form of liturgy and order within the pre-Reformation English Church is eventually broken or altered among ecclesial fractions, notably dissenters, Anglicans Church of England and Catholics. 1535, Michelangelo starts painting the Last Judgment in the Sistine Chapel. 1536-1540, dissolution of the monasteries in England, Wales and Ireland. 1537, Pope Paul III issued a bull in which he declared the Catholic Church opposition to the slave trade. The Pope's concern was similar to the concerns of his predecessor, Pius II, that prisoners captured during European wars should not be enslaved by victorious powers. He also issued the bull Veritas Ipsa, which decreed that indigenous people in the Americas were not to be enslaved. 
December 17, 1538, Pope Paul III definitively excommunicates King Henry VIII of England in papal bull, cum redemptor noster. 1540, Pope Paul III confirmed the Order of the Society of Jesus. 1541 – The Archdiocese of Lima is founded as the Diocese of Lima, Peru. July 21, 1542 – Pope Paul III, with the Constitution Licit ab initio, established the Supreme Sacred Congregation of the Roman and Universal Inquisition 1543 – The Polish scientist cleric, Nicolaus Copernicus, published a full account of the heliocentric Copernican theory titled, On the Revolutions of the Heavenly Spheres De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium. Considered as the start of the scientific revolution. December 13, 1545, Ecumenical Council of Trent convened during the pontificate of Paul III, to prepare the Catholic response to the Protestant Reformation. Its rulings set the tone of Catholic society for at least three centuries. July 27, 1549, St. Francis Javier, S.J., reaches Japan and goes ashore at Kagoshima, August 15. 1551, the first diocese of Brazil is created with a Portuguese-appointed bishop reaching Bahia, Brazil, a year later. 1562, Palestrina finishes Missa Papi Marcelli. December 4, 1563, Ecumenical Council of Trent closed. The decrees were confirmed on January 26, 1564, by Pius IV in the bull, Benedictus Deus. 1568, St. John Chrysostom, St. Basil, St. Gregory Nazianus, St. Athanasius and St. Thomas Aquinas are made doctors of the Church. July 14, 1570, Pope St. Pius V issues the Apostolic Constitution on the Tridentine Mass, Quo Primum. October 7, 1571, Christian Fleet of the Holy League defeats the Ottoman Turks in the Battle of Lepanto. 1571, the French government of King Charles IX decreed that, "...all prisoners are free in this kingdom, as soon as a slave has reached these frontiers and becomes baptized, he is free." 1577, Teresa of Avila writes The Interior Castle, one of the classic works of Catholic mysticism. February 24, 1582, Pope Gregory XIII issues the bull Inter Gravissimas reforming the Julian calendar. October 4, 1582, the Gregorian calendar is first adopted by Italy, Spain, and Portugal. October 4 is followed by October 15 – ten days are removed. 1582, John of the Cross, begins his Dark Night of the Soul, another of the classic works of Catholic mysticism. 1582, Matteo Ricci, S.J., arrives at Macau to begin his missionary work in China. September 28, 1586, Domenico Fontana successfully finished re-erecting the Vatican obelisk at its present site in St. Peter's Square. Hailed as a great technical achievement of its time. 1589-91, William Byrd composed his Cantiones Sacrae. His music, according to the Encyclopædia Britannica, has "...an intensity unrivaled in England and a breadth of scale unknown on the continent." Bird and his teacher, Thomas Tallis, though both Catholic, were allowed to compose and perform music during the reign of Elizabeth I. 1593, Robert Bellarmine finishes his Disputationes de Controversies Christianae Fidei. 1596, the signing of the Union of Brest between the See of Rome and the Ruthenian Orthodox Church. 1598, papal role in Peace of Vervins. 1600–1699 Topic. 1600, Pope Clement VIII sanctions use of coffee despite petition by priests to ban the Muslim drink as the devil's drink. The Pope tried a cup and declared it so delicious that it would be a pity to let the infidels have exclusive use of it. We shall cheat Satan by baptizing it. 1609, Francis de Sales publishes his Introduction to the Devout Life. Later, in 1616, he publishes the Treatise on the Love of God. 1610, Claudio Monteverdi's Vespro della Beata Virgine is performed. 1614, Tokugawa Ieyasu bans Christianity from Japan. April 19, 1622, Pope Gregory XV makes Armand Jean du Plessis de Richelieu a cardinal upon the nomination of King Louis XIII of France, becoming Cardinal Richelieu. 
His influence and policies greatly impact the course of European politics. November 18, 1626, Pope Urban VIII solemnly dedicates the new Basilica of St. Peter 1,300 years after the first Constantinian Basilica was consecrated by Pope Sylvester I. 1633, Trial of Galileo, after which he is sentenced to house arrest. 1638, Shimabara Rebellion leads to a further repression of Catholics, and all Christians, in Japan. 1653, the Kunin Cross Oath was taken by a group of St. Thomas Christians against the Portuguese. 1671, Rose of Lima, Peruvian lay member of the Order of Preachers Dominican Order and Mystic, is canonized by Pope Clement IX. 1674, Quebec City, Canada, is elevated to a diocese with its own bishop, St. François de Montmorency Laval. At one time, 1712, the Quebec diocese covered most of the American continent, French, English, and Native American territories, colonies, to the Gulf of Mexico. No other Christian community, Catholic or otherwise, had a bishop in those territories at the time. September 12, 1683, Battle of Vienna. Decisive victory of the Army of the Holy League, under King John III Sobieski of Poland, over the Ottoman Turks, under Grand Vizier Mirzifan Lukera Mustafa Pasha. The Turks do not threaten Western Europe militarily again. 1685, Louis XIV revokes the Edict of Nantes, and large numbers of Huguenot refugees leave France. 1687, John Dryden, dominant English literary figure and influence of his age, publishes The Hind and the Panther to celebrate his conversion to Catholicism. 1691, Pope Innocent XII declares against nepotism and simony. 1700–1799 Topic. 1713, Encyclical Unigenitus condemns Jansenism. 1715, Pope Clement XI rules against the Jesuits in the Chinese Rites controversy, reversed by Pius XII in 1939. 1720, Saint Anselm of Canterbury made Doctor of the Church. 1721, Kangxi Emperor bans Christian missions in China. April 28, 1738, Pope Clement XII publishes the bull in eminenti forbidding Catholics from joining, aiding, socializing or otherwise directly or indirectly helping the organizations of Freemasonry and Freemasons under pain of excommunication. Membership to any secret society would also incur the penalty of excommunication. 1737, Vincent de Paul, French priest who dedicated his life and ministry to serving the poor, is canonized by Pope Clement XII. 1738, Grey Nuns founded. 1740, publication of Richard Chaloner's Garden of the Soul. 1740–1758, Pope Benedict XIV, appointed first women as professors to papal universities in Bologna, reformed canonization procedures, intellectual open to all sciences. 1769, Passionist Religious Institute granted full rights by Pope Clement XIV. 1769, Junipero Serra establishes Mission San Diego de Alcala, the first of the Spanish missions in California. 1773, suppression of the Jesuits by Pope Clement XIV, already excluded from many states. Only in the Russian Empire are they able to remain. 1789, John Carroll becomes the Bishop of Baltimore, the first bishop in the United States. 1789, Georgetown University is founded as Georgetown College. It is the oldest Catholic university in the United States and the first of 28 colleges and universities founded by the Jesuits in the U.S. 1791, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart composes Ave Verum Corpus and his unfinished Requiem. 1793, French Revolution institutes anti-clerical measures. 1798, Joseph Haydn, Austrian composer and teacher of Beethoven, composed The Creation Haydn, an oratorio that celebrates and portrays the creation as recounted in the Book of Genesis. 1798, Pope Pius VI taken prisoner by the armies of Napoleon I, dies in captivity in France. 19th century. Topic: 1800 to 1823, Pope Pius VII. July 16, 1802, French Concordat of 1801. The Catholic Church re-established in France. 
December 2, 1804, Napoleon crowns himself Emperor of the French in the Cathedral of Notre Dame, Paris, in the presence of Pope Pius VII. 1823, Ludwig van Beethoven finishes his Missa Solemnis, started in 1819, and dedicates it to his friend and pupil, Archduke Rudolf of Austria, Archbishop of Olomouc. 1839, in a papal letter, Pope Gregory XVI declared the official opposition of the Church to the slave trade and to slavery. In the United States, Catholic slaveholders generally ignored the papal pronouncement and continued to participate in the institution of slavery. 1842, the University of Notre Dame is founded in South Bend, Indiana, by Father Edward Soren, of the Congregation of Holy Cross. 1846, Pope Pius IX begins his reign. During his reign he asks that an anti-Catholic document written by Freemasons known as the Alta Vendita be distributed to alert Catholic officials of possible Masonic infiltration. 1847, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem resumes residence in Jerusalem. 1848, John Bosco, priest, writer and educator, founded the Salesian, a religious community based on the spirituality and philosophy of St. Francis de Sales, a Catholic bishop of Geneva. 1850, the Archdiocese of Westminster and twelve other dioceses are set up, re-establishing a Catholic hierarchy for the Catholic public in the United Kingdom against intense political opposition. Westminster Cathedral is formally consecrated 53 years later, in 1903. 1852, the first Plenary Council of Baltimore is held in the United States. 1854, Dogma of the Immaculate Conception by Pope Pius IX. 1856, Gregor Mendel, Augustinian friar, scientist, and father of genetics, begins experiments that lead to the fundamental laws of inheritance 1858, apparitions in Lourdes 1862, Paolo Miki and his companions, martyred in Nagasaki, Japan 1597, are canonized by Pope Pius IX 1865, the Society of African Missions of Lyon establishes a mission in Lagos, Nigeria. The same society establishes a mission in Benin, five years later. 1866, Cardinal John Henry Newman finishes his autobiography, Apologia pro Vita Sua. December 8, 1869, Pope Pius IX opens the first ecumenical council of the Vatican. July 18, 1870 – The dogmatic constitution of the Church of Christ from the fourth session of Vatican I. Pastor Aeternus. Issues the dogma of papal infallibility among other issues before the fall of Rome in the Franco-Prussian War causes it to end prematurely and brings an end to the papal states. Controversy over several issues leads to the formation of the Old Catholic Church. This council was not formally closed until 1960 by Pope John XXIII in preparation for the Second Vatican Council. 1873-75, the enactment of the Falk Laws, legislation in Germany during the Kulturkampf conflict with the Church which led to the expulsion of some religious orders from Germany. English poet and Jesuit, Gerard Manley Hopkins, dedicated his famous poem The Wreck of the Deutschland to five nuns who were forced to flee Germany because of the laws and later drowned in a shipwreck. 1877, St. Francis de Sales is made a doctor of the Church, 1878, Cardinal Charles Levigeri, Archbishop of Algiers and Carthage, sends ten missionaries to East Africa 1879, Encyclical Iderni Patris, by Pope Leo XIII, prepares a revival of Thomism. 1888, the Pontifical Catholic University of Chile is founded. In 2018, it ranked number one University of Latin America by QS rankings. May 15, 1891, Pope Leo XIII issues Encyclical Rerum Novarum, translation, of new things. November 30, 1894, Pope Leo XIII publishes the Encyclical Orientalium Dinitas on the Churches of the East, safeguarding the importance and continuance of the Eastern traditions for the whole Church. 1895, Mark Twain's Personal Reflections of Joan of Arc is published by Harper's Magazine. 1896, Pope Leo XIII formally declares Anglican orders absolutely null and void in papal bull, Apostolicae Cora. 1897, Thérèse of Lisieux dies. 1898, Seconda Pia takes the first photographs of the Shroud of Turin. 20th century 
Topic 1900, Edward Elgar sets to music Newman's The Dream of Gerontius. 1903–1914, St. Pope Pius X numerous reforms, staunch defender of the faith, introducing frequent communion, promoting Gregorian chant. Problems with France. He was the most recent pope to be canonized a saint until the canonization of Pope John XXIII and Pope John Paul II on 27 April 2014 by Pope Francis. 1914–1918 Pope Benedict XV declares neutrality during World War I His peace initiatives are rejected by both sides as favoring the other. Massive papal charity in Europe 1916, Charles I of Austria is crowned Emperor of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, he is one of the last Catholic monarchs. Charles attempted to negotiate peace between the warring nations during World War I His attempts at peace are largely ignored. 1917, Canon Law for the Roman Catholic Church published by Pope Benedict XV. The apparition of Our Lady of Fatima occurs in Fatima, Portugal over the course of six months ending in the miracle of the Son. This apparition is considered to be among the most important in the Catholic Church. 1918, persecution of the Roman Catholic Church and especially the Eastern Catholic Churches in the Soviet Union until 1985. 1922, Emperor Charles I of Austria dies in exile and poverty in Portugal, later to become beatified as Blessed Charles. 1922, G. K. Chesterton, philosopher, poet, and writer converts to Catholicism. 1925, Holy Year proclaimed by Pope Pius XI. John Vianney, French priest referred to as the Cure d'Ars, is canonized by Pope Pius XI. 1926, beginning of church persecutions in Mexico until 1940 also known as the Cristero War or La Cristiada. March 19, 1927 Foundation of the Sisters of the Destitute SD at Chuningumvli, Kerala by Mar Varghese Payapili Palakapili. 1927, Georges Lemaitre, Belgian priest scientist, first proposed on theoretical grounds that the universe was expanding. In addition, he was first to ascertain what is now known as Hubble's Law. He also proposed what became known as the Big Bang. October 2, 1928, Saint Josemaria Escriva founded Opus Dei, a worldwide organization of lay members of the Catholic Church. February 11, 1929, the Lateran Treaty is signed by Benito Mussolini and Cardinal Gasperi establishing the independent state of the Vatican City and resolving the Roman question between Italy and the Holy See since the seizure of the Papal States in 1870. 1928, Sigrid Unset wins the Nobel Prize in Literature. 1928, year of the founding of the movement Opus Dei by a Spanish priest and saint, Josemaria Escriva. October 5, 1929 – Death of Varghese Payapili Palakapili February 12, 1931 – Vatican Radio is set up by Guglielmo Marconi and inaugurated by Pope Pius XI. First signal broadcast is in Morse code, in nomine domini, Amen. 1931–1936 – Persecution of the Church in Spain It is estimated that in the course of the Red Terror Spain, 6,832 members of the Catholic clergy were killed. July 20, 1933, Concordat between the Holy See and the German Reich signed by Eugenio Cardinal Pacelli and Franz von Papen on behalf of Pope Pius XI and President Paul von Hindenburg, respectively. 1933, Dorothy Day co-founded the Catholic Worker with Peter Morin. December 8, 1933, Pope Pius XI canonized Bernadette Subaru of Lourdes, 1935, Thomas More and John Fisher, English martyrs, executed under the reign of Henry VIII, are canonized by Pope Pius XI. 1937, MIT Brennender Sorge Encyclical Against National Socialism by Pope Pius XI, written by Cardinals Eugenio Pacelli and Michael von Faulhaber. September 1, 1939, Germany invades Poland. Start of the Second World War. The Vatican, after trying to avoid the war, declares neutrality to avoid being drawn into the conflict. Massive Vatican relief intervention for displaced persons, prisoners of war and needy civilians in Europe. In 1939 St. Patrick's Cathedral, Melbourne, Victoria, Australia was finished being built. 1940, Graham Greene publishes The Power and the Glory. During World War II, convents, monasteries, and the Vatican are used to hide Jews and others targeted by the Nazis for extermination. 
See the myth of Hitler's Pope Saint Maximilian Kolbe is martyred in Auschwitz concentration camp after volunteering to die in place of a stranger. The Nazis imprison and at times execute Catholic clergy, monks and nuns not compliant to Nazi ideology. 1943, encyclical of Pope Pius XII Mystici Corporis defining the Catholic Church as the body of Christ. 1943, encyclical Divino Afflante Spiritu, opening biblical research to Catholic scholars. 1943, year of the founding of the lay association Focolari movement by Chiara Lubick. The movement promotes the ideals of unity and universal brotherhood. 1944, the German army occupies Rome. Adolf Hitler proclaims he will respect Vatican neutrality, however several incidents, such as giving aid to downed Allied airmen, nearly caused Nazi Germany to invade the Vatican. Rome is liberated by the Allies after only a few weeks of occupation. 1945, Evelyn Waugh publishes Brideshead Revisited. 1948, Thomas Merton, Trappist Contemplative, publishes The Seven-Story Mountain. 1950, Holy Year declared by Pope Pius XII, who announced on December 25, 1950 that the tomb of St. Peter had been identified by archaeologists underneath St. Peter Basilica, canonization of Pope Pius X, Maria Goretti, encyclical Humani Generis. 1950, the Assumption of Mary is defined as dogma by Pius XII. 1952, François Mauriac wins Nobel Prize in Literature. He wrote the foreword to Elie Wiesel's book Night, having encouraged Wiesel earlier to write about his experiences as a Jew during the Holocaust. 1954, first Marian year in church history proclaimed by Pius XII, who introduced Marian feast Queenship of Mary. 1954, J. R. R. Tolkien publishes The Lord of the Rings, often cited for its Christian and Catholic themes. 1954, year of the founding of the lay ecclesial movement, Communion and Liberation. 1957, Bernard Lonergan, S.J., publishes Insight, a study of human understanding. 1957, Francis Poulenc, composes his opera, Dialogues des Carmelites and two years later, The Gloria Poulenc. 1960, Senator John F. Kennedy is elected president, making him the only Roman Catholic president in United States history. October 11, 1962, Pope John XXIII opens the Second Ecumenical Vatican Council. The 21st Ecumenical Council of the Catholic Church emphasized the universal call to holiness and brought many changes in practices, including an increased emphasis on ecumenism, fewer rules on penances, fasting and other devotional practices, and initiating a revision of the services, which were to be slightly simplified and made supposedly more accessible by allowing the use of native languages instead of Latin. Opposition to changes inspired by the Council gave rise to the movement of traditionalist Catholics who disagree with changing the old forms of worship and disagree with the rise of previously condemned philosophies now being adopted by clergy and laity. 1962, Martin de Porres, a Peruvian lay brother, is canonized by Pope John XXIII. 1964, Charles L. Wanga and his companions, martyred in Namugongo, Uganda 1885-7, are canonized by Pope Paul VI. 1964, year of the founding of the lay movement Neocatechumenal Way by Kiko Argnello and Carmen Hernandez. December 7, 1965, Joint Catholic Orthodox Declaration of Pope Paul VI and the Ecumenical Patriarch Athenagoras I Mutual Excommunication of the Great Schism of 1054 against Catholic and Orthodox is lifted by both parties. December 8, 1965, Pope Paul VI solemnly closes the Second Vatican Council. 1968, year of the founding of the international lay group Community of Sant'Egidio by Andrea Riccardi. 1970, revision of the Roman Missal, following on gradual introduction of vernacular languages in celebration of Mass. 1970, Pope Paul VI canonizes the Forty Martyrs of England and Wales. 1970, Saint Catherine of Siena made Doctor of the Church. 1971, Flannery O'Connor's complete stories are published. 1973, Sister Agnes Katsuko Sasagawa in the remote area of Yuzawadai, near the city of Akita in Japan reports seeing a number of apparitions now known as Our Lady of Akita. 
1973, Gustavo Gutierrez, Peruvian theologian, Dominican priest, and founder of Liberation Theology, publishes a pivotal book, A Theology of Liberation, History, Politics and Salvation 1973, Year of the Founding of the Kemen Nuf Community by Jesuit priest, Laurent Fabre 1975–83, Olivier Messiaen composes Saint François de Cisse. He is organist at Église de la Sainte Trinite, Paris from 1931 until his death in 1992. August 26, 1978, Pope John Paul I becomes the first pope to use a double regnal name. He reigns for only 33 days. October 16, 1978, Pope John Paul II becomes the first Polish pope and first non-Italian pope elected in 450 years, influential in overthrowing communism in Europe. 1979, Mother Teresa awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. March 24, 1980, Oscar Romero, Archbishop of San Salvador, El Salvador, is assassinated while celebrating Mass at the Divine Providence Hospital. 1980, Czesław Miłosz wins Nobel Prize in Literature. 1981, Henrik Goretzky composes Miserere Goretzky. 1983, Lech Walesa awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. 1984, First World Youth Day instituted by Pope John Paul II celebrated in Rome. Celebrated between Rome and a different city in alternating sequence every year. 1987 Marian Year announced by John Paul II in the encyclical Redemptoris Mater June 30, 1988, Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre of the Society of St. Pius X SSPX, consecrates four men as bishops at Acon, Switzerland without the express permission of the Pope. Lefebvre et al. automatically incurs excommunication according to canon law. Traditionalist bishops of the SSPX continue to be suspended. A divinis. To this day. December 31, 1991, the Soviet Union is officially dissolved. Persecuted Catholic Church re-emerges from hiding, especially in the Ukraine and Baltic states. 1992, the new Catechism of the Catholic Church is first published, in Latin and French. 1993, Crossroad Publishers publish Content of Faith, the best of Karl Rahner theological writings. 1993, Duns Scotus beatified by Pope John Paul II. 1994, Ordinatio Sacerdotalis, an apostolic letter upholding a prohibition against ordination of women to the priesthood, is promulgated by Pope John Paul II. 1997, Saint Therese of Lisieux is made a doctor of the Church. 21st century April 30, 2000, Pope John Paul II canonized Saint Faustina and designated the Sunday after Easter as Divine Mercy Sunday in the general Roman calendar, with effect from the following year. January 1, 2001, the 21st century and the new millennium begin. The Church solemnizes the start of the third Christian millennium by extending into part of the year 2001 the Jubilee year that it observes at 25 year intervals and that, in the case of the year 2000, it called the Great Jubilee. January 6, 2001, John Paul II issues Novo Millenio Iniente, a program for the Church in the new millennium, wherein he placed sanctity through a training in prayer as the most important priority of the Catholic Church in consonance with its purpose. January 18, 2002, former American priest John Jogan is convicted of child molestation and sentenced to 10 years in prison, as part of the ongoing sex abuse scandal. The Jogan case was one of the worst scandals of the Catholic Church in the USA. 2004, Cambridge University Press publishes Hans Urs von Balthasar's The Cambridge Companion to Hans Urs von Balthasar. April 2, 2005, Pope John Paul II dies at the age of 84. His funeral is broadcast to every corner of the globe through the modern media. Millions of Catholic pilgrims journey to Rome to pay final respects. April 19, 2005, German-born Cardinal Joseph Alois Ratzinger is elected by the College of Cardinals as Pope Benedict XVI, thus becoming the first pope elected during the 21st century and the third millennium. August 18, 2005, Pope Benedict XVI attends the World Youth Day in Cologne, Germany, his first trip outside Italy. September 12, 2006, Pope Benedict XVI delivers Address on Faith, Reason in University of Regensburg. 
Benedict maintained that in the Western world, to a large degree, only positivistic reason and philosophy are valid. A concept of reason which excludes the divine, is incapable of entering into the dialogue of cultures, according to Benedict. He quoted negative views of Emperor Manuel II Paleologus, regarding Islam, which several weeks after it was delivered, created violent reactions among Muslims in several parts of the world. June 11, 2007 – Pope Benedict XVI reverted the decision of his predecessor regarding papal elections, and restored the traditional two-thirds majority required. July 7, 2007 – Motu proprio summorum pontificum is issued by Pope Benedict XVI explicitly liberating the Roman Missal of 1962 as an extraordinary form of the Roman Rite. Hopes of healing the schism between the SSPX and the Catholic Church is implied in accompanying letter to the motu proprio. October 28, 2007, Pope Benedict XVI authorizes the largest beatification ceremony in church history involving 498 Spanish martyrs who were killed during the Civil War in Spain. 2007, James Macmillan composes the sacrifice. In 1992, he composed Veni, Veni, Emmanuel. May 2008, a solemn declaration agreed on between Pope Benedict XVI and Muslims, led by Mahdi Mostafavi, stressed that genuine religion is essentially non-violent and that violence can be justified neither by reason nor by faith. July 2008, Pope Benedict XVI participates in Sydney, Australia in the World Youth Day and announces Spain as the country to host the next one. January 2009, the Holy See remitted the excommunications of the bishops of the Society of St. Pius X, which has been criticized for its schematic nature with the magisterium. October 11, 2009, Father Damien, a Belgian priest known as the Apostle of the Lepers, is canonized by Pope Benedict XVI. October 17, 2010, Mary MacKillop, Australian nun of Scottish descent, is canonized by Pope Benedict XVI. She is the first Australian saint to be canonized. Also canonized as Holy Cross lay brother, André Bisset of Montreal, Canada, whose efforts and inspiration led to the building of St. Joseph's Oratory, Montreal. October 21, 2012 Kateri Tekawitha, Algonquin Mohawk laywoman known as the Lily of the Mohawks, is canonized by Pope Benedict XVI. 2012, Hildegard of Bingen is made a doctor of the church. February 2013, resignation of Pope Benedict XVI March 2013, Jorge Bergoglio of Argentina elected as Pope Francis and is the first Latin American and the first Jesuit to be elected Pope 12 May 2013, Pope Francis canonized over 800 Catholics that were killed by Turks in Otranto, 1480. With this he surpassed the record of John Paul II in canonizing the most saints in a pontificate. February 2015, Charles Mong Bo and Son Petita Mafi are the first cardinals from Myanmar and Tonga. May 23, 2015, Oscar Romero, the assassinated Archbishop of San Salvador, was beatified by Pope Francis. 2015, beatification by Pope Francis of the three martyrs of Chimbote, murdered in 1991 in Chimbote, Peru, by members of the communist guerrilla group, The Shining Path. 8 December 2015 to 20 November 2016, the extraordinary Jubilee Year of Mercy, Rome received 21.3 million pilgrims, Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe received 22 million pilgrims, and World Youth Day in Krakow received 3 million pilgrims. According to Archbishop Fisichella, President of Pontifical Council for New Evangelization, between 56% and 62% of all Catholics participated in the events while pilgrims in Rome mostly came from Germany, U.S., Poland, Spanish-speaking countries and there were many who came from China, Chad, Rwanda, Nepal and Cook Islands. July 26, 2016, Jacques Hamel French priest, is murdered in the parish of saint Etienne du Rouvre by two extremists who pledged allegiance to the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. The Diocese of Rouen has officially opened his canonization cause. November 2, 2017, Pope Francis suggests recruiting proven married men to become priests for dioceses in the Roman, Latin, Western Church where there are few priests. Eastern Catholic churches do allow married clergy, among other traditions. May 13, 2017, Pope Francis canonized Francisco and Jacinta Marto, witnesses to the Marian apparitions at Fatima, Portugal. 
December 18, 2017, Pope Francis named priest communicator, Patrick Payton, CSC, Venerable. Fr. Payton founded the International Family Rosary Crusade and Family Theater. May 18, 2018, bishops of Chile offer their resignations to Pope Francis owing to criminal negligence in dealing with child sexual abuse among some clerics. Francis also accepts the resignations of other bishops and cardinals in other countries for similar reasons. Like Pope Calixtus II, who, in 1123, convoked the first ecumenical Lateran Council to reckon with widespread concubinage and other abuses among clergy, Francis faces a far worse crisis among clergy, child abuse and lack of effective episcopal oversight. August 2, 2018, Pope Francis declares the death penalty is unacceptable in all cases because it is an attack on human dignity. Topic. See also Topic. History of the Catholic Church Legal history of the Catholic Church History of the Papacy Great Church Timeline of Christianity Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading. Topic. The History of the Catholic Church, From the Apostolic Age to the Third Millennium James Hitchcock, Ph.D. Ignatius Press, 2012 ISBN 978-1-58617-664-8 Triumph, The Power and the Glory of the Catholic Church. Crocker, H.W. Bokenkotter, Thomas. A Concise History of the Catholic Church. Revised and Expanded ed. New York, Image Books Doubleday, 2005. ISBN 0-385-51613-4 External links Topic. History of the Catholic Church Timeline of Church History at OrthodoxWiki